Okay, so hello and welcome everybody to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a chest workout. I've changed my uh, workout split to push pull legs again. So it's currently the 17th of December and it's quarter to six. I'm just going to make breakfast now. And some of the dry ingredients I have here is there's about 100 grams of dates, 10 grams of flaxseed, pumpkin seed, sunflower seed, peanut butter, there's a kiwi about 3 grams of maca powder, 10 grams of cacao powder then between all these spices here we have there's all spice, nutmeg, cinnamon, mixed spice, black pepper, turmeric, ginger and I don't know if I said amla powder but that's more or less everything that's there and then yeah we got some kale out of the garden because I don't have any kale left in the house and I actually need to get some because they're not going to grow fast enough. I'll probably eat them before they're grown if you get me so. And there's 300 mils of uh, no sugar almond milk in there. And then, so basically I'm just going to throw the dry ingredients in. Then some mixed berries and some bananas. So let's see what we can do. Don't forget. Make sure I like the vinegar. Like a pro. Right, where are we? Okay, this little taste, look at the consistency. Yes, that's yeah, the consistency we're looking for. Yeah, this is rocket fuel, so um, I definitely highly recommend just giving this a go. You can either have it whenever, before a workout or after a workout. Um, yeah, all the dates in it will be good for that fast acting energy anyway. So I'm gonna have this now, then I'm gonna go to the shed and do a workout. Also, I kinda wanna jog later around the park, so see how that goes. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you on the shed. Okay, so I just finished up that workout with Manigo and it's a quarter to ten, so I'm just gonna have lunch now. Uh, which is, I have basically just 200 grams of brown rice with about 200 grams of cauliflower, an avocado and there's some sauerkraut in with it. Then I just threw a few herbs and spices, so it's like garlic, coriander, cumin, salt, ginger, it's a bit of fenugreek. That's more or less it, but I'm gonna have this now and then I'm gonna go on a jog in probably about an hour I'd say, maybe an hour and a half or two hours because last time I had a shake just before, well no, that was an hour after I went last time, but before that I actually ran just right after I had the shake, so hopefully my stomach isn't like in bits but I'm sure definitely two hours you should be able to run after this but I'd say I get away with an hour so I'll try it and if um, I notice that it's similar to last time then I'll definitely have to leave it two hours in the future but yeah I'm gonna give this a little taste yeah man that's it uh, that's gorgeous so I'm gonna mill this now and then yeah, it'll bring us up the park for me, so I'll see you in a bit.
ओके Scenic. Drink that water, we know. Hmm. Okay, so I got back from that jog a while ago and I'm just making pancakes, pancake, uh, I'm going to flip it now, this is just one big monster, so, I'm not even close, yeah, hold on, get a bit of glue action in this, there we go, a little bit fell on the floor, but, uh, coming along, yeah, I definitely should have made it, uh, way skinnier, like, Made a few of them. I had to go and make one book. Yeah, so book likes it. Uh, they'll be done in a minute, so. Okay, so here is the final product. Um, it looks. I didn't co completely cover it, and I made like date sauce, so it's just dates and almond milk. But the toppings I have in it is. There's sultanas, raisins, banana, blueberries, and strawberries. So then you just have like 200 grams of oats there, and about two tablespoons, teaspoons of baking powder. So I already tasted it without the sauce. So now I'm gonna taste it with the sauce. Come on. Okay. Close. Yeah, I'd give this like an A. It's actually quite decent. The last time I blended dates up in the oats. So mmm. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out around the park here and uh, I farm all the good bit before I went this one. Yes, but anyway. <clears throat> yeah, I done that in a bit. An hour and 20 minutes, that was about 14.8 kilometers, as I said. So I found rolled a good bit before I went out this time. And Book is there, uh, seems to be holding up at the moment. He probably shouldn't be doing. Get your wet chin on me, get your wet chin on me, leg, please. Thank you, sir. Um, yeah, but I was gonna say, I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, my chest. Must have done that from. I have these little spiky balls. They're like farm rollers. I think I must have done that earlier. Um, never seen them that severe. It looks like a little blood rupture, but it's hopefully not. Um, can't really see. The sun bruises on my leg here from doing it. Um, but they're not severe as that part of the chest. But now I feel like I can. Like, usually, see you can hear the click there, but when you, like, engage your rear delt and lats more, I suppose, and then, like, externally rotate, uh, you can, I'm basically bringing my shoulder back into alignment slowly, but surely, um, but yeah, no, far more before the jog, made it feel like, uh, a lot easier than it usually is, and, Yes, yeah, so I'm going to try and uh, basically get as much myofascial release therapy in as I can before. Get your wet chin on your leg! Thank you, sir. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video, everybody. I'd like to. Thank you all for watching and tuning in with me once again. Um, in today's 
adventure. So, yeah, going back on the push pull legs. The way I done this week. I only done squats on Monday, so I'm gonna have to like almost train legs twice tomorrow. But I'll figure out a way around that. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, I hope you had had a good pancake Tuesday as well. Actually, yesterday. That's why I'm making the pancakes now. But yeah, you can even try to give this recipe a go. It's literally just the ingredients I said. You blend up the cinnamon and the oats and the baking powder together. And that's basically our bar. You just put in like 250, maybe 300 mils of almond milk. But I keep waffling on. But anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Thank you all for watching and I oh, appreciate each and every single one of you. And so his book appreciates the runes. He's absolutely in bits, like he just keeps making noises on his bed, like uh just humming like that. Say he just me like he has some serious delay onset muscle syndrome, but anyway I'll see you in the next one everyone. Thanks for watching. Much love, peace, bye bye.